fourth grade social science chapter 2 the earth our home new words horizon where the sky seems to meet the land or the sea globe a model of the earth map a drawing of the earth or any part of the earth on a flat surface sailor a person who sails or works on a boat or ship unique the only one of its kind survive continue to live edges border or margin of a surface fleet a group of boats or ships expedition a journey with a specific purpose mostly to find out about a place which is not well known landmass a large continuous area of land i am learning what makes life possible on earth our earth is unique since so many different landforms can be seen on its surface let us learn more about our home the earth you know that earth is one of the eight planets of the solar system yet it is different from other planets it is unique because there is life on it it is home to humans plants and animals what makes life possible on earth earth is surrounded by a layer of gases called the atmosphere the atmosphere has oxygen which all living things need to breathe earth also has water on it water is very essential for all living things to survive earth is also at the right distance from the sun so it is neither too hot nor too cold shape of the earth for a very long time about 2000 years ago people believed that the earth was flat they bought they thought that if they traveled far enough they would reach the edges of the earth they even feared that they would fall off the edges and be lost forever but there were people like aristotle and copernicus who believed that earth is not flat they said that the earth is like a ball with no edges then about 500 years ago in 1519 a man called ferdinand magellan took a fleet of five ships and 234 sailors with him the ship started from spain and kept sailing in one direction after about 3 years the ship reached the same place from where they had started the journey this proved that earth was not flat but round like a ball in fact earth is more like a orange it is about round slightly flat at the top and bottom the horizon if you stand in a vast open field or on top of a very tall building and look into the distance it seems as if the land and the sky meet each other similarly if you were to stand at the seashore the sky and the sea would seem to meet at a distance the place where the earth and sky appear to meet each other is called the horizon in fact the sky and earth never actually meet 
they only appear to be meeting how can we see the whole of the earth suppose there is a huge ball and a little ant is moving on this ball do you think that the ant can see the whole ball at one time no it cannot the ball is too big for the little ant it can only see a part of the ball in front of it in the same way the earth is very big in size we cannot see the whole earth at one time we can only see a part of the earth that is in front of us so how can we see the whole earth it is possible only by going into space in a spacecraft or seeing pictures of the earth taken by a satellite in the classroom we use a model of the earth to study about it this model of the earth is called a globe a globe is like a ball which is tilted it shows us what the earth looks like and where various landforms and places are located on it with the help of a globe we can easily understand how the earth rotates on its axis causing day in one part of the world and night in the other part on the globe we can see only a part of the earth at a time we have to rotate the globe to see the whole earth it does not show minute detail of a place it is difficult to carry a globe to all places